Hi, Julian here. Just a quick one today. Thought I'd show you a quick video on me varnishing this painting. I'll take this blue tack off. I use a lot of blue tack. Okay, so I'm using Gamvar varnish. I've written it here, but it's 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 let really find the bottle. It's very good stuff. Gamvar varnish. Now I've set this up in such a way that you're probably going to see some glare when I varnish, but that's intentional because I want you to see where it's wet. So at the moment you can see it's quite matte, this painting. It's not very, I mean the colours are good, but it's not very luscious. Now I'm going to varnish it now. What I normally do is I just do strips. Okay, now we're seeing some bobbling, not bobbling, um, some places where the varnish isn't sticking. So what I will do is I'll put a quick, quick layer on. And then I'll very quickly rub it off with a rag. And that will kind of give a first, an ultra thin layer of varnish. I'll see if I can show you where it's not stuck. So try not to use, so I try and wipe the excess off the brush. I try not to use too much. But you do want to go everywhere, so then I do sideways just to make sure you've gone everywhere. Okay, just going to pick it up and have a, so there's just a couple of spots where the varnish hasn't adhered properly, I don't know if you can see that, just down that edge there, on the left edge, level with the cup, can you see there's a little area, let me see if I can get that in focus. Okay, sorry, I had a few settings wrong on my camera then, so this should be better. But can you see that the colours are much more glossy and luscious? You can see it's just not adhered properly. And I've got I've got one single spot on this side, level with the mid upper arm. Now that is probably just where I've been handling it, and I've touched it with some you know, a little bit of uh, and a, a sort of a dirty, greasy finger or, you know, just sort of oil on my fingers and it stopped it adhering. Now this does happen occasionally. It's a good thing I'm filming. No need to panic. What you can do is you grab yourself a clean rag or part of a clean rag The rest of it isn't very clean, but I only need this bit. And you just wipe. Basically, you wipe the varnish off. And what you're doing is, it's important that this rag is lint free. So you're wiping the layer you've just done 
off. And that's intentional. And what you're doing then is you're you're actually pushing the varnish into the paint and you're you're leaving such a thin layer I'll just do the troubled, troubled areas again. You're seeing, you're leaving such a thin area that it will dry and adhere. Okay. And then what will happen is it will dry when this is much more tacky and nearly dry. I will varnish it again and you won't get the the kind of imperfection. It's a bit like when you put um, water on glass and it kind of beads up a bit. It doesn't kind of move around in, in a kind of uniform way. And that's it. But already you can see that the colours are much better because there's a very thin layer of varnish on that. You can see it's shiny now. In fact, you can already see at the edge, it's shiny now, whereas before it wasn't. There we go. And there's the rag. Now it looks like it's it's the same colour as it was before. It hasn't picked up, it hasn't sort of removed any paint. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that painting there and then I'll revarnish tomorrow. Okay, it's actually a couple of hours later. And I'm going to varnish it again. I noticed that it was pretty much dry, so I think we'll try it again. Because I'm, I'm fairly keen to get this painting out. Uh, and framed. Actually it's going to be scanned first. Let's see if we get the beading again. No, that looks perfect. I'll just do another layer. Can you see there, on the edge, near the cup? It's perfect now. I try to go fairly slowly, because if you go quickly, and you have a lot of texture in your paint, and I do have a little bit, there are a few areas where the paint is very, well, thicker than the rest, and it's, it's a little, blob of paint and if you go quickly over that you'll get a little bubble behind it and uh, I don't want too many bubbles Just going to check the coverage. That looks great. So that's that done then. Fully varnished and ready for scanning as soon as it's dry.